Hi, my name's Neil. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about being a skateboarder over 40. Over the past five years, I've been learning to skate again after taking about 25 years off. And I've been documenting the whole thing on this YouTube channel. So if you're new here, take a look back through the history of this channel. You might find some of the videos really interesting. Over the past few videos, I have been looking back at 2023 month by month and kind of making a video for each month just showing what I've been doing and what progress I might have been making, if any, what I've been working on and working towards. If you haven't seen the first few videos and you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below. But yeah, as I say, this is April, so let's get stuck into it. It was quite apparent to me making the last video and even making this one that the videos are going to turn out to be very long. Trying to squeeze like a whole month's worth of skating into a fairly short video is pretty difficult. So what I've decided to do with any of the longer ones is chop them up into smaller, shorter videos and release them quite quickly between each other, but just to give you a breather between them. That way it doesn't seem quite such an epic watch to sit down and, you know, watch maybe a 40 minute video. So hopefully the smaller, shorter videos will be more digestible, easier to watch, and you can watch them in your own time. So this is the second part of the April video and let's get into it. Now for the next session, I was back at Bay 66 skating on the mini ramp, getting some decent practice in with my usual bag of tricks, things like 50-50s, board slide fakies, rock and roll slides, frontside disasters and lip slides. And something else that I've been working on for a little bit are the frontside smith stools. Now again, as I said before, I'm quite terrible at anything frontside. So doing frontside smith stools is something that I do want to do. And I've been kind of pushing them up there and just to get a feeling of how they feel really. Now I'm pretty aware by looking at the footage that I don't lean back enough to kind of push into the smith. I can do fakey smith stools pretty well and going fakey allows me to push into my heel on the back foot and that holds the smith against the wall. I'm really just trying to get used to trying to do that by front side kick turning and to let the wheels come off the coping and hang on the rail while leaning back enough and pushing on that heel wheel. As you see in the footage here, I definitely am not leaning back enough, but I'm kind of afraid to lean back. My fear of the front side or the foff, as I call it, the fear of front side is in full effect there. So I just need to get used to leaning back more and trusting leaning back. And that's the real shortfall in this one. So let's take a look at that footage. <laughs>
And then also, as I do every session at Bay 66, I have to go into the deep end of the bowl and get some decked rock and rolls done. I need to do that every single session to kind of keep them in the bag and then move to the extension and try and get them there as well. And I see it as kind of paramount that I get them really good on that extension because that's the closest thing to vert that I have to practice on. So if I can get them good there, hopefully it's the baby steps towards getting them on the vert ramp. So that's something that I just have to do every single session that I go to Bay 66. <laughs> Right, the next session was at Crystal Palace. I love this place, I love this pool. I love grinding on pool coping. So for me, Crystal Palace is all about trying to do big 50-50 grinds on the pool coping. So I get a few of those going. And then within my runs between the 50-50s, just get lots of calves going on. My runs are basically always backside at the moment because of my fear of the front side. So backside slashes and calves, 50-50 grinds. And I also started to throw up some 50-50 test runs in the deep end of the pool because it was probably about a year ago that I was doing 50-50s in that deep end. I stopped for a little while, mainly due to fear, and I kind of regret doing that. So I started to throw up some 50-50s in the deep just to try and get used to doing that again. And once I get them, I really don't want to give them up this time. I've got pretty good at bailing off of 50-50s from trying them in the vert ramp. So doing them in the pool and bailing in the same way is a great introduction to kind of getting them back again.
All right, next session, I was back at Bay 66 and in the bowl, I really wanted to finesse my board slides on bigger stuff. So board slide fakey and rock and roll slides. And I was doing those in the shallower part of the bowl, but it's a lot bigger than the mini ramp. So it was a step up from the mini ramp. Also, the coping in this bowl is heavily waxed and it's arguably a pretty horrendous situation. The coping is just absolute slick. It means you can do very, very long grinds and uh, board slides but it's so slippery that you've really got to work hard to get your balance right because i've been skating there for so many years i've actually got used to it now i don't really complain about it anymore but anyone that goes to bay 66 and skates that bowl will quickly find out that the coping is just like ice so take it easy if you do go there but for me, it's a good opportunity to get longer board slides because it's so slippery. I just have to balance better and work on my speed and the balance when I'm actually in the slide. But as you'll see in the footage, I'm starting to get pretty good there and they're getting quite long. And then, of course, as usual, got to take those rock and rolls to the deep end. Got to get them in every single session as usual. And what I've also been doing in recent videos, you've probably seen, I've been doing board slides around the shallow end corner of the bowl. And so I started to take some to the deep end. I'm not very good at landing them at the moment, but I'm really mainly trying to get just a long slide all the way around the corner. So trying them in the deep end was quite a good thing to do anyway, because it means I'm just trying them on higher stuff. Landing them, not such a big deal, but doing a slide and trying to keep my balance on ultra waxy coping in the deep end was something that I really wanted to do anyway. Whether I land them or not, the, getting the slide good is really my primary goal. And without landing them around the corner, I decided that I would do some on the flat wall just to land them and you know get the feeling of landing them. It's a very different situation landing them on the flat wall as it is in the corner because as you go around the corner, your board tips and so it kind of forces you to try and turn out. But if you're not ready to go, well, if I'm not ready to go, I end up having to bail. So I find I land them more often on the flat wall, but um, I want to get the slide right around the corner when I'm trying them there. So I kind of hold on for longer to try and get them right around the corner. So very different things, but hopefully the two will come together eventually and I'll get a nice long one around the corner and roll away. A couple of other things I thought I should be trying was some of my mini ramp tricks in the deep end of the bowl. So I was trying some of the front side disasters and also some, uh, I don't really know what to call them, um, but I think they are like a nose pivot slappy. I think most people are compelled to call them a switch half cab, but it's not a half cab because you don't take off. And a half cab is, you, a half cab is not a half cab unless you actually get some air. So regardless of people calling a fakie 180 rock, a half cab, it's not a half cab. Sorry, it's just not. And I'm going forwards. It's not switch. I'm going forwards. I'm pivoting on the nose into a, uh, it's a nose backside slappy really but i don't know what the actual name for it is if you want to tell me what the name is let me know but it's definitely not a switch half cab and then to finish it off i just threw up some little backside air attempts on the extension but uh, we won't really need to talk much about them they were pretty terrible <laughs>
Okay, so that was part two of the April video. Hopefully you found that interesting. And uh, keep an eye out for part three because that will be coming very soon. Until then, take it easy. See you soon.